shopping for premium market opportunities. Presenting premium and exclusive service for investors by Calco. A very good morning to you and welcome to the ASX at breakfast. I'm Rachel, reporting from Calkine Studios in Sydney. Now, the Australian share market is poised to open higher this morning, and that's despite overnight trade full of volatility on Wall Street. Global stocks traded on uncertain note, and the US dollar rebounded against the euro. And that was after reports that Russian missiles killed two people in Poland triggering concerns the nine-month Ukraine war could escalate. ASX futures were up four points, offsetting similar early gains. And yesterday, the benchmark index closed 4.7 points lower at 7,141 points. Moving on to business news from this morning now, and Medibank chair Mike Wilkins says the company has been committed to doing the right thing by customers in relation to the cybercrime. And that includes the decision not to pay any ransom demand for this data theft. He will speak at the company's AGM later today. Medibank's customer data was compromised almost five weeks ago after their systems were hacked. He said based on extensive advice from cybercrime experts, there was a limited chance paying a ransom would ensure the return of customers' data and prevent it from being published. He said there's no doubt that this crime is having an enormous impact on their customers and their community. This is a shocking crime, the size and scale of which they have never seen before. Moving on, a new farm reported a strong increase in full-year earnings with statutory net profit after tax of $107.4 million. That's up 65% versus the prior corresponding period. The company reported earnings before interest, tax, depreciation, amortization and material items of $447 million, an increase of 24% on the prior corresponding period, on revenue of $3.8 billion, up 17%. The board declared an unfranked final dividend of $0.06 cents per share, taking the total for the year to $0.10 cents per share. GrainCorp doubled their full-year 2022 earnings to $703 million from the same corresponding period, taking their MPAT to $380 million from $139 million. Managing Director and CEO Robert Spurway says the East Coast of Australia conditions have been favourable leading to the 2022 to 2023 winter harvest, with Australian Bureau of Agriculture and Resource Economics and Sciences currently forecasting another well above average crop. Recent heavy rainfall across large parts of the East Coast delayed the harvest by several weeks and continues to present challenges for growers. The company declared financial year 2022 dividends of 54 cents per share, fully franked, up from 18 cents in financial year 2021. Well, now it's time for a short break, but stay tuned for more news set to affect your trading day. If you're looking to keep abreast of the biggest stories from the crypto world, the fate of exchanges and crypto hedge funds during the ongoing bear market, and you're wanting to keep up to date with the best and worst performers in the altcoin space and that of flagship currencies such as Bitcoin and Ethereum, then Calcon Media's daily crypto catch is absolutely essential viewing for you. Tune in each afternoon right here on Calcon Media to get the latest scoop from Anchor to ZeroCoin. And welcome back to the ASX of Breakfast Report. On Wall Street, the Dow Jones rose 0.17%. The S&P 500 rose 0.87% and the Nasdaq ended 1.45% higher. Over in Europe, the Stocks 50 rose 0.7%. Meanwhile, the FTSE fell 0.2% and the CAC gained 0.5% with the DAX ending 0.5% higher. MSCI's gauge of stocks across the world gained 1.19%, while its Emerging Markets Index rose 2.2%. Now, all prices rose yesterday more than 1%, and that was after news that all supply in Hungary to Hungary via the Drasba oil pipeline has been temporarily suspended due to a fall in pressure. Brent crude futures rose $1.38 US cents. 
to $94.52 a barrel. WTI crude rose at $1.60 to $87.47 a barrel. Gold prices edged up near their highest in three months that they reached earlier on Tuesday on some safe haven buying following news about those two people killed in eastern Poland near the Ukraine border. Spot gold was up 0.3% to 1,776 US dollars an ounce. Well, that's all for ISX at Breakfast Report this morning here at Calkine TV. Have a great day trading and stay tuned for more market updates and economic news throughout the day. I'm Rachel signing off for now.